Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. First off, I'm sorry if it's a little bit gloomier in here than it usually is. It's kind of thunderstorming today, so I couldn't get my lighting to be super bright, but I think it's okay. And I'm really excited because today I'm going to be talking about the Jeffree Star Cosmetics and Manny MUA collaboration. So if you guys follow me on my other social media, my Instagram, my Snapchat, or my Twitter, you've already seen that I have received this collaboration as part of PR. And I'm very grateful for PR because I'm able to not only test it out for myself, but also put out reviews for you guys before the product even launches, which is what I'm trying to do today. So hopefully I have this video up before the launch date. This collaboration is launching on Saturday the 8th at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And also, if you are at IMATS New York City, they are going to be carrying this collaboration so you'll be able to get it early if you are going. I am going. I'm going to be at IMATS on Saturday, so I will be there. If you guys are going, leave me a comment and and I would love to see you guys, talk to you guys. Don't be afraid to come up to me and say hi because I am like nervous about going. I've never met any of you guys and if you come up to me, it will make my day. So I will be there on Saturday and I'm hoping to pick up maybe one of these for a giveaway if I'm able to get through the line and get one for you guys. So in this video, I am going to be trying on all of the parts of this collaboration. So if you guys want to see these products on me, if you want to hear a little bit more about it, and see my review then just keep on watching. So first off I want to talk about the packaging of this. I think that they did a beautiful job. You can tell that they worked really hard on the actual packaging as well as the product. So you get the Jeffree Star Cosmetics symbol and you get the Manny MUA Crescent Moon and I know that there's drama going around about the Black Moon Cosmetics Company suing them but all I know from what I've heard is that that is not going to affect the launch. I'm crossing my fingers that it won't and I am sorry for anybody who the drama has affected both parties. It is what it is and it's sad for many reasons but I'm not going to get into that. I'm going to actually just be talking about the products today. So this is the box that the lab comes in. This is matte black as you can see and it has Jeffrey's and Manny's symbol all over it. I think it's really cool because they are best friends so I'm sure that they put a lot of thought into this whole thing from the packaging to the actual products. So when you open this box up you reveal a holographic backing and you get the Skin Frost and two liquid lipsticks. You guys know that I love Jeffree Star Cosmetics. I have had a lot of positive experiences with the brand in the past and he does send me PR now. And I really do love the product. I have a video up from well before I started receiving PR if you want to see my complete unbiased review before I ever even received anything for free. So I did show the Skin Frost on my social media. I showed swatches and I showed a close-up. I am most excited for the Skin Frost and I haven't even opened the liquid lipsticks yet. So I am going to be trying them on my face today, but I did want to show you what the actual package looks like because I just think it's really beautiful. It's very on trend. Holographic is in right now, so at first I thought they were going to try to come up with actual holographic makeup, which would have been cool, but probably not as practical as these products. So I'm excited for it. This whole bundle is going to be at a discounted price of $50, which I think is mind-blowing. I didn't expect it to be that affordable. So you can get all of this for $50 when regularly a skin frost is $29 and liquid lipstick is $18. But if you are only interested in one product, you can purchase them individually and they're allowing Manny to use his code Manny MUA and you'll get a percentage off of an individual item if you want to do it that way because maybe not everyone will want all three items which I totally understand. So first I want to talk about the Skin Frost because I have already tried this on my face. I've swatched it. I know my feelings on it unlike the liquid lipsticks. I know that I like the formula of liquid lipsticks from Jeffree but I haven't tried these colors on me yet and I'm pretty excited for it. But this Skin Frost is absolutely beautiful. The packaging again is so beautiful. I think I am going to leave it in here just because I love the way it looks. It's all shiny. It has a nice texture to it. I just think overall the packaging is very well done of this collection and I love black. Black is pretty much my favorite color so I like that everything in this collab is black packaging. So when you pop out the Skin Frost you get again the same huge size pan of the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Skin Frost 
but it's matte black and it has holographic packaging. So I think that is beautiful. I love it. And this one is called Eclipse and you get the pink writing on the back. Again, I like how you can clearly see that it's Manny and Jeffrey combined. I think they did an amazing job with the packaging. So when you open this up, you reveal a skin frost that has not only Jeffrey symbol in it, but also the crescent moon, which represents Manny. And I have clearly dug into this. I have been swatching it. I've used it on my face. I really wanted to test it out before I hopped on here and talked about it. But this was my favorite part of the collab because obviously Jeffrey had to go out of his way to create a new stamp for this collaboration. I don't really know how that works, but I do think that that shows that they really put a lot of effort into it and they just made it special and I really like that. Not only that, but this is not a crazy color, which Jeffrey is known for going out there with his colors. He has blue, pink, black, skin frost, green, but this is amazing. This just screams my name. I know that Manny came up with it, but this on my skin tone is beautiful. This is my favorite kind of highlighter. It's a peachy champagne highlight, which reminds me a lot of Champagne Pop, but this one is more bright. This has a little bit of glitter flex in it underneath the light, and I just think that this is a perfect shade. I'm really, really pleased with the Skin Frost shade, so I do want to talk about this a little bit. With this Skin Frost, I noticed that if you swatch it on your finger, you do pick up almost a little bit too much product so it sits on top of the skin but something I want to make clear to you guys and kind of recommend is using this with a brush on your face obviously but what I'm saying is don't judge it by the way it performs on your fingertip because it really does kind of layer up and it's way too intense in my opinion with a finger swatch but if you love intense highlighters you might love that but I know that for me personally, I don't want a highlighter to look like a streak on my face. So I am going to apply it with my favorite brush for applying Skin Frost. And I'm going to show you how it applies on me. And hopefully that will be helpful for you guys. I have recommended this brush before. But I'm just saying this applies a lot better with a brush than an actual finger swatch. So when you swatch it on your finger... Obviously, there's a ton of product there, but it doesn't really want to transfer onto your hand. So I really just judge these by using them on your face, which is what they're intended for. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this on my cheekbones for you guys. And the brush that I recommend and that I use is the Morphe R36. I talked about this in my highlighter video. It's the brush I used over there. This is a white haired highlighting brush from Morphe and I really, really like it. I believe that it's very affordable. I know that Morphe brushes are very affordable. So I will link this down below if you are interested. Right now it is my favorite highlighting brush. So I'm just going to dip this into the skin frost you honestly don't need a lot when it comes to skin frost keep that in mind but you can always build it up to be very intense so I'm just going to apply this so you can have a very subtle glow and you can very very easily build this to be very intense you guys know me, I love my highlight, but I don't like anything that is too intense. It looks like it's jumping off my skin. I kind of like it to blend into my skin beautifully, so that's what I'm going for. So this right here is what I prefer for a highlight. I'm going to leave it at this intensity, but you could totally go all out. You could have a blinding highlight. This for me is blinding, so I am going to leave it like this, but hopefully this helps you. If you have a skin tone close to me, this is what it's going to look like. Beautiful champagne highlight with a little bit of peach. I love it. So I personally feel that this Eclipse Skin Frost gives your skin that wet highlight look, which to me is the most beautiful kind of look because it's more of a natural thing. It doesn't look like you put eyeshadow on your face or anything. So I love this shade. I think this might be my favorite Skin Frost now. So I'm really excited for this and hopefully this will help you if you guys were interested in this Skin Frost. And now I want to talk about the liquid lipsticks. 
So there are two liquid lipsticks in the collaboration. You have Daddy and you have I'm Shook. Daddy is a brown color. It kind of reminds me of the Instagram baddie look way back in the day. I feel like that is what this represents in my opinion. It's like a darker nude. And then I'm Shook is kind of like a dusty reddish pink color. It's very different. So I have my Jeffree Star liquid lipsticks sitting next to me. I wanted to pull it out and show you comparisons, but I only found one in the collection that I have that is even close to either of these. I do have one comparison to show you guys when it comes to the color Daddy. The closest color out of the Jeffree Star Cosmetics line that I have to show you is Posh Spice. So Daddy is a little bit more warm tone and it's a little bit darker. So here is Posh Spice and here is Daddy. So you guys can judge for yourself if you think that they are similar enough. If you own one, maybe you don't have to get the other. So I'm gonna go ahead and try these on so you guys can see the colors on me. I'm gonna start off with I'm Shook because it's the most different. So I'm gonna pop this open. It has the same wand as all of the Jeffree Star liquid lipsticks. It doesn't have a scent to it, if you guys are wondering. And it seems to be the same formula as the others. They're very thin and liquidy, but they're fully opaque and they dry pretty quickly. So that's typical with the Jeffree's liquid lips. So here is I'm Shook on me. So I really like this. The formula is the same as what I'm used to. I did overline my lips a little bit, which is what I like to do. So I like the way it looks. It's actually, it looks a little bit more of a wearable color than I thought it would. Like it's a little bit more neutral than I thought. This is beautiful. I really like it. I like it with my olive shirt. So let me know what you guys think. Is this a color that you guys are interested in? Do you like it on me? Let me know and I'm going to go ahead and take this off so we can try on the other shade. Okay, so please ignore my concealer lips. I put on a little bit of concealer because I got some of that color when I was removing it into the spaces around my mouth. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply Daddy. I'm most excited for this one. You guys, I love this one. It's oh, it's like a neutral brown. It's not quite warm or cool. I don't know how to explain it. I love this one. I love it so much. I love it on my skin tone. I don't think I own anything quite like this that I've worn at all recently. I love a good brown, you guys. This is beautiful. Do you guys like this one? Because it might be my new favorite color for a while. So this is Daddy Liquid Lipstick. Alright you guys, so you have seen the entire collaboration on me. Hopefully that is helpful for you. I hope that you guys are as excited as I am for especially the Skin Frost, but also this liquid lipstick right here. I also love I'm Shook, but I don't know if I would go out of my way to purchase this one, but when you add up the prices, it is a better deal to go ahead and pick up the bundle because $50 for the bundle, you really can't beat that. But if I were to choose one item, it would be the Skin Frost. If I were to choose two, it would be the Skin Frost and the Daddy Liquid Lipstick. But of course, I think I would get the bundle if I were to go out and pay for this myself because it is a better deal and I do like this color. It's just not something that I would really go out of my way to purchase, but this one I really, really would. Don't sleep on the Daddy Liquid Lipstick. I think it's so beautiful. I think it's like the Instagram color. Like, very popular, very nice brown. 
I really like it on my skin tone, so I'm excited for this whole collab. I think that it's really, really nice, and I wouldn't pass on it. So I think that that's pretty much all that I have to say for this video. If you guys found it to be helpful, if you liked it, then please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. So let me know what you guys think of this collaboration down below. Are you going to pick it up? Are you going to pass on it? I do want to hear your thoughts. I just ask that you are not mean in the comments because I don't stand for mean comments. Of course, you can discuss anything you would like as long as you are not mean about it. So that's pretty much all that I have to say about this collab. I'm very excited for it. Congratulations to Manny and Jeffrey for partnering up and putting out this collaboration. I'm sure it will do very well because it's beautiful. So if you guys have any questions for me, go ahead and leave them down below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I put out new videos every single week and I try to stay on top of the new releases for you guys. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully I will see you all in my next video. Bye.